Today I'm going to steal this super round progress bar from Joey Edits and take it to the next level along with the rectangle animation surrounding Ali's video from Trevor Jones. So, as Joey would say, Let's get started. Here are the two rounded animations, full and partial progress bars. Let's start a new project, then drag the yellow background onto the starting layer. Based on CapCut, the images are placed on a new layer with a length of 5 seconds, which is 150 frames. I drag the red right and left half circle images prepared with the PhotoP program onto a new layer, then hide the first layer using the mask slash split function. I rotate it by minus 90 degrees so it hides the image, then I do the same with the other layer, but here I set it to 90 degrees so the whole circle disappears. I jump to the beginning, then place a keyframe on the rotate property, then go forward 50 frames and place another keyframe. But rewrite the minus 90 degree to 90 so the mask rotates 180 degrees and the whole half circle on the right is visible. Then from here, where the animation of the first layer ends, I place a new keyframe on the other left half circle layer, go forward 50 frames and place another keyframe, but rewrite the 90 degrees to 270, so the circle animation will be full. Let's check what we did. Since the mask function leaves a strip of a few pixels in the middle, I move the upper layer on the x-axis by 1 to 2 pixels to better cover this small error, which won't even be visible when zoomed out. To only have a thin circle frame is visible instead of the whole one, all we have to do is place a circle of the same color as the background on another layer, the size of which I reduce to the desired thickness. So this is it. All we have to do is export these two animations and we can use them in our next project. I started a new project, imported the previous two animations, which I extended to one minute long and uploaded them to my Google Drive. I speed it up a bit, enlarge it, place the white background on a new layer, stretch it to the same length, rearrange the layers, then use the chroma key to make the red part disappear so that the white is visible. I drag the Ali video used in the previous project onto a new layer, cut off the unnecessary parts, export and delete the sound, then edit the Ali video with the mask slash circle function. I'll do a quick check and then add a moving background to make the end result look better. I select the white and animation layers and create a compound clip from it, then using the chroma key I make the yellow parts disappear, rearrange the order of the layers, and here is the final result. Here is another method that can also be used to create the previous effect. I drag the yellow layer on top of the starting layer, then drag the entire red circle onto a new layer, then put the yellow background on top of it again, uncheck the uniform scale checkbox and rewrite the width to 50%, then drag it to the left to cover the left half of the red circle, then I copy the previous layer and drag it to the right, thereby covering the entire circle. I select the left layer and hide it with the mask slash split function by dragging it to the center and rotating it by minus 90 degrees. I do this with the right layer as well, but here I rotate it by plus 90 degrees and also drag it to the center, making sure that the Y coordinate remains at zero, otherwise the rotation will not be in the center. I select the left layer again, then place keyframes at the beginning, then 50 frames later, rewrite the rotation from minus 90 to plus 90, then select the right layer, place a keyframe on it, move another 50 frames to the right, and rewrite the rotation to 270. And here is the final result. This works fine with a solid background, but what about a moving video background? Well, I have a simple trick for that too. I'll quickly replace the background with a video. So it will look something like this. I select the three layers and make a compound clip from them, then with the help of the chroma key I hide the yellow parts and we are ready. Believe it or not, this was all to show how the halo effect was made in my ultimate Ali Abdul video. If I replace the red circle with the halo image, then create the compound clip and hide the background, then... Damn it! I forgot to change the yellow background. Okay, undo compound clip. I replace the yellow backgrounds with black ones, make a compound clip out of it, then use the chroma key to hide the black background, and here is the end result. You can see that the animation is not smooth, because the halo is not a regular circle. Therefore, I will do the method presented in my ultimate Ali video here as well. I redo the compound clip, select the left layer and the first frame from it, move 5 frames to the right and rewrite the rotation value to minus 45, 
then jump to the next keyframe and move back 5 frames and rewrite it to 45. Then I repeat this with the right layer. I move 5 frames to the right and rewrite it to 135. Then I jump to the last keyframe. I move 5 frames to the left and rewrite it to 225. Let's see what we created. I combined it into a quick compound clip. I hide the black background with the chroma key. And here is the final result. Okay, let's start the Trevor Jones video. I left the background animation on the main layer, then drag the previous Ali video onto a new layer, cut off the unnecessary part, export and delete the sound, then use the mask slash rectangle function to drag the image to the desired shape and round the corners. I'll check quickly, then drag this red-blue transition background onto a new layer, place keyframes at the beginning and end of the video for rotation. Then set the values at the beginning to 0 and at the end to 720 to give the video a bit faster rotation. I enlarge the background to ensure that it covers the entire Ali video during the rotation, then I rearrange the layers so that Ali is on top. A quick check, then I make a compound clip of the rotating background, and with the help of the mask function used on the Ali layer, I edit this too, so that it hangs just a little bit beyond the Ali video. And here's the end result. Here's another background video I downloaded from YouTube. I quickly erased the previous red-blue background, drag this animation onto a new layer, edit it using the mask function, drag the animation a little to the edge, because the movement is more spectacular there, and we are ready. Okay, one more bonus clip. I'll quickly delete the previous layers, then drag this video which I downloaded from Freepik onto a new layer. I cut off the overhanging part, then draw this shapeless image that I made with Photo P, stretch it out to full length, then use the chroma key to remove the red part. I'll check the result quickly, then make a compound clip from the layers, then use the chroma key again, and hide the yellow background and we already have a cool dancing video on a moving background that you can use in your next viral video. Bonus after bonus just because I'm a nice guy and because I've gotten so much love and encouragement from you, and I've gained 700 subscribers in less than 4 weeks. So a huge thank you once again, and if you want to support me, now you can do it by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. Thanks in advance, and now let's continue with the bonus clip. New project, background animation already dragged to the main layer. I drag this blue transition image onto a new layer, and then place this wave shape overlay image above it. I adjust its size and position a bit, then remove the uniform scale checkbox and distort it a little until I only see the wave part of the image. After setting the image, I select the blue transition layer and hide it using the mask slash split function. I create a keyframe at the beginning, then I go back 60 frames and create another keyframe, and drag the mask to the right so that everything is visible. Then, I will rewrite the feather property to 20, so that it has a little transition, I will correct this in the first frame as well, and then check the result. Since I don't like the way the filling up doesn't follow the waveform, I place new and newer keyframes every 10 frames, and adjust the rotation so that it matches the direction of the waveform at every 10th frame. Since the filling up shifts the direction and shape off a bit, it was not very smooth, so I manually set each of them so that the strip moves roughly the same amount, and I also adjust the rotation when necessary. Once I have it, I place another keyframe at plus 10 frame, and reduce the value of the feather to zero so that the transition is no longer visible at the end. Then I create a keyframe, and move backwards, I jump back 60 frames, and create another keyframe. Now comes an important trick. I move one frame to the left and create another keyframe. This is necessary because when I go back to the previous keyframe, I rotate the direction of the mask. Thus, in a single moment, its direction reverses imperceptibly, and I can continue the animation by repeating the previous steps backwards. I rotate the mask so that everything is visible, I set the value of the feather to 20, I position it, and then I refine it backwards, stepping 10 frames at a time. Since the value of the feather changes as I move, this means that I did not change its value at the last keyframe, so I make a quick correction and continue setting the rotation and positions by jumping 10 frames. Let's see what we did. Okay, it's not bad, let's finalize it by creating a compound clip from them, then using the chroma key, I'll make the yellow parts disappear, a quick check and fine tuning of the value, 
then I can speed it up for twice the speed, move it a little further back. Then I'll add a fade in and fade out animation to it for an even smoother transition, and we are ready with our Ali Abdul style wave animation. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on these effects, but if you think they were too simple, watch this video of mine next, where I analyze Ali Abdul's Halo Effect video, condensing several hours of material into 30 minutes. See you in the next one!